welcome to the Pentangle Arts Music by the River Series. We're so happy to have you all here. It's a wonderful weather evening. Aren't we lucky? We have been so lucky with this weather. I am really happy about it. I'm Angela Moore. I'm the marketing director here at Pentangle, and I want to thank all of you so much for coming, and thank you for supporting Pentangle. Now, when you're here at Pentangle and when you're here at these Music by the River series, you're showing your support for Pentangle in a great way. Thanks for telling the story. Thanks for telling your friends about us. It's really, really great to see the turnout that we've had for this season. And I also want to thank you so much, those of you who have donated each week to our donation bags and baskets that we have on the way out. Thank you for that because that means we will be able to continue having these great concerts and bringing these wonderful artists to Woodstock. Now tonight, we have a very, very special and talented young artist joining us. Many of you may know her, but for those of you who haven't had the chance to hear her, you are in for a treat. Haley Reardon hails from Massachusetts, and she's probably logged more miles around the world than all of us combined. She's super talented, she's very, very special, and we are so lucky to have her here at our little hamlet of Woodstock. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big welcome to the one, the only, Haley Reardon. Digging in the dirt all day, hoping that I just might grow, growing up to be okay. clear cut blade cause don't you know the broken break and the breakers stay the same Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Well, it is so good to be back here. I think this is my my third Pentangle event here in Woodstock, and it is always such a treat to come to this town. I remember the last time I was here. It's been a few years, and the last time I was here, I was staying at the at the lovely Lincoln Inn, a lovely B and B here with my friend Charlotte. I hope I'm getting the name right. And I was in the process of applying to colleges. I was 17, and I was really late on a few applications that my mom insisted that I get into them. And my mom was like on vacation or something. And Charlotte at the B and B helped me fax these applications to my colleges, and it was just. I'll never forget it. So Woodstock has a little homey feeling ever since, always. Um, speaking of which, I am from uh, Massachusetts, and this is a, a song I wrote when I did, in fact, go to college and was missing home, and it's called Home For You. And I wish I still felt foolish when I said that I would come back home for you. But baby, I would come back home for you. And I miss being lonely, cause before I let you hold me I had no idea how much I had to lose but baby I would come back home for you and I am a swell in motion you are up and warm like sand and I know you love my dreams but you're the best of all my plans And ooh, 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 ooh. And I miss that crappy car I swore I hated you comes I hope the she pulls through the baby I would come back home for you and I miss laying awake dreaming how life might look one day till I learn dreams will make you work when they come true
This song is called Would You Wait. I decided I don't need to be different, I just need to be okay. I could tell you everywhere I'm running as I sit here in my place. I could come along fine, giving it your lenience when I change my mind. Oh, and it's the time, time, only the time that I'm not counting the counts is mine. A city some days, and only when we're laying in our whispers, do I start to hear the street noise fading. I could come along fine, giving it you lenient when I change my mind. Oh, and it's the time, time, only the time that I'm not counting the counts is mine. Thank you for listening. Um, when I was about 10 years old, <coughs> I discovered the magic of the answering machine. Back when my family still had a, a landline, um, I realized that you could actually set that message that people hear when they call to leave you a message, the answering machine. And I became obsessed with it. So I decided to create this um, <coughs> this little weekly questionnaire for anyone who happened to call our family home phone. And I would change it once a week and say, hello, you reached the Reardons. Please leave a message and include your favorite color. Hello, you reached the Reardons. Please leave a message and include your favorite singer. And it went on and on and on. My mom had to warn all her friends that Haley had a new project. <laughs> but uh, one week, my grandmother called, and she left a message. And then at the end, she said, oh, and Patsy Klein." Question was, of course, who's your favorite singer? 
And um, I'd never heard of Patsy Cline, but I remember going over to my grandmother's house, and she pulled out her records, and she played me I Fell to Pieces. And she told me about how, when she was a teenager, she would get all dolled up for the local town dances and make sure and get there 20 minutes early so that she could ask the DJ to play I Fell to Pieces so she could dance with a boy to a slow song in her best dress. And then years went by, um, and I never forgot that story, that picture of my grandmother in a big empty ballroom there early just to request her favorite song. And uh, a few summers ago, I ended up helping to take care of her when she had really bad dementia and no longer had any idea what planet she was on or who any of us were. And the only thing that would bring her back to the moment was when I put on Patsy Cline. She would say, that voice, I know that voice. And uh, for a second, she was with us again. So I wrote this song about those very, very long, hot summer days I spent trying to remind my grandmother of her own life. And it's called 200 Years Old. Forgiveness, forgiveness. 
got so many people free again. sure you'll remember breaks morning like thunder oh the holes in my sweater and i am not lonely i just miss the old me well i know i know i know i walked myself oh 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 man people get me thinking about and I don't want to think about you Got a secure goal oh, 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 so, uh. Spit my words underwater To make sure you hear You don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But until you know, oh, oh, and people get me thinking about people, and I'm just trying not to be like you. Gotta shake your go. Oh, 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 so.
Thanks so much for being here. Uh, my mom's best friend's name is Beth. And uh, she's been telling me stories my whole life. She's the realest and truest hippie I've ever known, unless anyone would like to come forth and challenge. Um <coughs> but uh yeah, she's been telling me these wild stories my entire life that um belong in songs or books or movies or something about her younger days living out of a school bus in Santa Barbara and all these crazy things. Um and she loves, loves, loves Joni Mitchell. And whenever I see her, from the minute I learned to play the guitar, from the minute I touched a guitar, she would always, always ask me to play her this Joni Mitchell song called Blonde in the Bleachers off her album For the Roses. And uh, Beth herself is this little tiny blonde lady. <coughs> She's my height and has hair down to here, um, blonde hair down to here. So whenever I think of that song, I think of Beth. To me, it's like her hippie anthem. She is the blonde in the bleachers. Um, and sadly, I never learned that song for her. I love, love, love Joni Mitchell, but you know her. Her guitar work can get a little out of my league. Um, so I never learned Blonde in the Bleachers for Beth, but uh, one day I sat down and kind of strung together some of the stories she shared with me about her own life into a song about her. So now she asked me to sing this one instead. And uh, that works out for me because it's a whole lot easier to play. So this is for Beth, and it's called Bethany. guitar of a boy she loves but never sees and she'll follow him to Santa Barbara when she is just 19 with some money from her father a man she loves but never sees she, she is lost in the records blonde in the bleachers she's free but she's tired of So she lived out of a school bus parked in some old lady's yard and to this day she'll thank the 70s and the California stars but at night she still got lonely and the boy with the guitar couldn't give a damn about her and she still held him in her heart she, she is lost in the records and blonde in the bleachers Freedom never comes easy, and love it never comes freely. Just ask Bethany. And the boy with the guitar became a man with a full band, and he left her with a baby. Chose the road over a family, so Bethany she left there for a farm out in the country, raised the little girl up wild with the horses and the daisies. She, she is lost in the records and blind in the bleachers. She's free, but freedom never comes. It never comes freely, just ask Bethany.
Thank you. I have um, a new EP out <coughs> that came out um, a couple months ago, and it is uh, a collection of story songs. Go figure all these stories I've been telling you about people in my life, um, stories that have sort of been gifted to me um, that are not my own, but that I feel sort of a, a privilege and responsibility um, to share. And that Songs of Beth is, of course, one of them. Um, and this next one is is the title track of that. It's called Where I Know You. Um, and it's about a very eventful and emotional drive from Nashville, Tennessee to somewhere deep, deep in Kentucky. I'm still not quite sure where, but I got this song out of it, and it kind of planted the seed for this whole EP about what it means to know someone and how um, how stories play such a big part in that and allow us to know parts of people that maybe are no longer there. Okay, this is where I know you. <laughs> Watch me as I sleep, I feel you in my dreams, that time you almost crashed the car, the way you held me to your heart, and I could see it all right there, the whole of you, there's nothing left to become, and nothing left to see through. I just want to hold you there, the whole of you, and keep you where it's quiet, and keep you where I know you, where I know you, I know you, I do. So we drove all day to the road became a different state And when we finally found the grave I saw your father on your face And I could see it all right there the whole of you There's nothing left to be calm and nothing left to see I just want to hold you there, the whole of you, and keep you where it's quiet, and keep you where I know you, and where I know you, I know you, I do. songs here and then we will have a break and you can go eat some of those lovely sandwiches that I could eat another six of and still not be finished they're so good and then we'll be back I made an album a few years ago with the help of a whole bunch of wonderful people um, and it's called good and it was inspired by this line in East of Eden by John Steinbeck that says, now that you don't have to be perfect, you can be good. And uh, 
I was in high school and I made that record. That was like my mantra. That phrase got me through everything. And um, this is a uh, this is that song that inspired that. It's called Good. <laughs> drive all the way cause you want to not cause the drive don't bother you I just said thank you and I'll watch you fold your neighbor's laundry like you sewed it yourself and maybe I'll wonder why you want me when I'm still in my show but people do crazy things try everything to be who they think they should buy you you do it cause you're good and good good cause you're good and good good and for everyone you meet you've got a question and you remember I remember we were driving in Westland. You were holding my hand to your head. People do crazy things just to be who they think they should buy you. You do it cause you're good and good, good. Cause you're good and good. school I used to go to my grandfather's house every day after school that was my after school program um, and uh, my grandfather was a, a firefighter and a real patriot and he loved to sing and so for whatever reason it was very very important to him that I learn all of the American patriotic songs front to back all the verses even the deep verses no one's ever heard of I know them all because he made sure of it and that was our activity like I would come home from school and I take off my backpack and whatever have a snack and he would say grand old flag from the top and we would just sing these songs together over and over it's like my earliest memories of singing is those songs so um, I know them all very well and uh, they come to me at random times and just kind of remind me of my grandfather um, and a while back, America the Beautiful popped into my head. One of the many songs I learned all of the verses to in those after school days. But, um, but this time the lyrics had this weight to them. They felt so sort of poignant and, uh, and important um, and current. And so I decided to take a little creative liberty and rewrite that song, um, which is allowed. It's in the public domain. Don't you worry, my rule followers. Um, 
yeah, so this is my reinterpreted version of America the Beautiful. This is my last song, and then I'll be back um, in a, after a little break. spacious sky and amber waves of grain for country stores and dive bars where everybody knows your name and for purple mountains majesties above the fruited plain for the woman leading to a child on a crowded city subway. And for the black lives that matter more than they'll ever know. And for the grown man who's crying. Well, where did my life go? the truth and kiss your kids goodnight. So everyone, let's have a big hand for Haley. Isn't she fantastic? Woohoo! Excellent. And luckily for us, she is going to be here during the break. She has wonderful merchandise, so if you're a big fan, this is your time. I also want to have a great shout out to the folks at Worthy Kitchen. Kurt and his team from the Worthy and Sweet and Salty are here this week. Isn't it great? And we're switching it up a little bit. We're doing a sandwich story this week. So we've got sandwiches, snacks, popcorn, freshly packed popcorn, lots of great snacks, and, of course, our great beverages. And we're so happy with The Worthy for being here this season. We really, really are so delighted and thrilled to have them. And then also a big shout-out to North Chapel because without them, we wouldn't have this wonderful venue. We love this lawn, and they have made us feel so welcome. Let's give them a round of applause. 
All right, now you know the drill. It's that time of night. It's time for our raffles. We're always excited to draw some interesting things. And this week we have two exciting things that we're going to draw. The first thing is a pair of tickets to one of our Central Vermont Chamber Music concerts that's coming up next Sunday. Now, if you haven't been to a concert here, a classical concert in Woodstock, consider it. It's a wonderful way to spend a few hours on a Sunday afternoon. It's at the UU, so it's right here. It's right inside, and the UU has such great acoustics. It's really a beautiful place to sit. It's from 4 to 6 on a Sunday afternoon. This particular one is next Sunday, August 25th. And it's going to be great, actually two weeks from Sunday, August 25th. And it's going to be a great, great concert. It's the Central Vermont Chamber Music. Folks, this is worth waiting for. So this is going to be our first drawing. Let's see who the lucky winners are. Okay. And did I mention I have Meg here helping me draw? So you see Meg in many places at Pentangle. You might see her at concessions. You might see her postering around town. You might see her helping out here. So when you do, you know you've got a friendly face, and this is Meg. Okay. <laughs> All right. So our lucky winner of the pair of tickets to the concert is Kara Pomeroy. Kara. Come on down. Oh, it's going to be hand-delivered to you even better. And while Meg is delivering those tickets, we aim to please, I'll tell you a little bit about our next drawing. And this is for a pair of movie tickets. And I'm really excited about this because our movies that we have at Pentangle, I think they're just better than ever. We have so many wonderful feature films there and lots of great films coming up. We just had yesterday, this weekend, thank you all who came because it was absolutely packed. I thought it was a great movie. I hope you, you guys liked it too. Um, this weekend we have Spider-Man. It's opening tonight. So Spider-Man Far From Home, he's coming back. The last of the Infinity Saga series. He's coming back to save the planet, we hope. So he's here. So if you like that, that is a great movie. And then following that, we do have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So for all of you who just can't wait to see Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, Margot Robbie, this is going to be another cool film. It's all about what happens in the 1960s in theater and acting, and that's a really great film. Then after that, we have The Lion King. We've had so many people asking about The Lion King. We're so happy to have it here, um, and it's going to be, again, on the big screen. What better place to see it? And then following that, we have um, the movie called The Farewell. We also have Blinded by the Light. And we have the David Crosby documentary coming, too. So you can find the movies online. You can find them on our website. And if you're in downtown, you want to stop into the Town Hall Theater, just stop into Town Hall because we have flyers outside. You can pick up a flyer and see what's going on. And for those of you who like social media, Instagram and Facebook is always a great place to go and watch for that. So tonight, the pair of tickets to the movies. Let's see who's going to the movies with us. And even if you don't win, remember, there's a maple butter popcorn. Okay. Our lucky winner is, would you like to announce it? You want me to? Okay. Steve Elkin. Steve Elkin. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> yep. Okay. There's your ticket. Okay. So thank you all so much for being here and uh, for supporting Pentangle in such a great way. We really, really do appreciate it. Lots of great programming coming up and another great set from Haley Reardon in just a few minutes.
patience Everybody's yelling your name And gracious, can't you feel them coming like grace? At the top of the top of the mountain, nobody walking. Cause they got what they thought that they wanted. Doesn't it feel good to be? No, no, nobody. Easy comes and easy goes the longest year, the greatest slow. And flowers die and forests grow, and people change enough to know. Everybody's yelling your name And gracious, can't you feel them coming like grace? At the top of the top of the mountain, nobody walking. Cause they got what they thought that they wanted. Doesn't it feel good to be? Oh, it should feel good to be. No, no, nobody. Thanks. I'm going to play a, um, a brand new song because I'm feeling brave. This is called After You. I dreamed that I dreamed that you were blind and I went walking looking for the light but then I lost it trying to bring the right thing home to you and I see Nothing is a waste until it runs out I built myself a castle just to climb down And rifle through the fragments of my youth And I've got everything I've ever felt lined up in Pretty little bottles one way in and one way out my love is gonna be a while till I know who I am again Oh and nothing much has changed except some blinding revelations I am holding out my hands a fickle heart requires patience I know and I'm on my way again after you. After you. And I wake here, floating on a cloud 
above the last year and i can see the moon now as the fog clears the stars were burning and we just looked away and i'm grieving a hundred little lives for every season you have parts of me that i don't need and though i tried i could not fight the change and i've got everything i've ever felt lined up in pretty little bottles one way in and one way out my love it's gonna be a while till i know I am again Oh, and nothing much has changed Except some blinding revelations I am holding out my hands A fickle heart requires patience, I know And I'm on my way again After you After you apart up here I'm gonna do a song this is a very very first for me it's my first and only song that I've ever written that has a reference to a 50 cent record in it um, I gave a workshop once at a camp where 50 cent had given a workshop just a few days prior <laughs> and we had very different messaging and things to say. Um, so I wrote this song about that experience. It's called Work More. And grown men used to lay a humble ear flat on the dirt for a free Consultation with a wise old earth. But now it's just the ground and everybody's trying to break it. We gotta work our way up, 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 and away until we made it. So busy trying to go big, we forget the way home. So busy trying to produce, we forget what we oh, what we used to know. Where the dust lines the floor like lights Where the songs don't say get rich or die trying Cause you build the paper life And the paper still goes flying And do, 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 Don't taste the same Big souls, little hands Trying to hold more we can Before the world gets in the way Hey, hey, can't get the world Out of our way Come get the world Out of our way I can't take hero I can't take hero oh, I can't take hero I can't take hero oh, I can't take hero Can't you hear him work more? What are you working for when the 
sweat don't taste the same. Big souls with little hands trying to hold more. We can before the world gets in the way. Hey, hey, can't get the world out of our way. Come get the world out of our way. I can't be hero. 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 Used to lay a humble ear flat on the dirt for a free consultation with the wise old earth. But now it's just the ground, and everybody's trying to break it. We gotta work our way up, 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 and away until we made it. Thank you. All right. This is another one of those story songs from my my new EP. Where I just <laughs> wrote these little anthems for all these people in my life, but one of my very, very oldest friends' name is Julia, and um, she grew up right down the street from me, and she had this this Polaroid camera that was manufactured by the Barbie brand, so it would print all the photos out with this big old Barbie logo on the bottom. We had so much fun with that camera. I wish I knew what happened to it, but um, it was really the light of our lives for a period there. And I recently came across a photo that we'd taken on that camera, Barbie logo and all, um, of the two of us. And we'd just gotten in from riding our bikes. And uh, we were probably about seven. And uh, we had our helmets on. And Julia had this just like crazy head of hair that was just bulging out from under her helmet. And I remembered that there was like a three year period there where Julia just did not own a hairbrush. And um, I wrote this song looking at that picture. And your tangled hair was the biggest mess I knew. Closest to a child I'll ever 
be Oh Julia, do you remember me? Dear one, we were three ones and I can't forget Oh Julia, do you remember you? Oh Julia, do you remember me? Cause to love for you is still for me the closest to a child I'll ever be. Oh Julia, do you remember me? like forgetting your shoes in the desert talking with you is like being tattooed with a feather everyone says you're in over your head until you learn you never were And you are out of your lovely little mind. But I like it. I like it just fine. Holding your hand is like sleeping on sand. The summer watching you dance is like changing the plan for a lover everyone says there's no point in the end that's how you learn they're only words and I am not the least bit they ain't your eyes the more people talk, the more I know who I can trust. And you are out of your lovely little mind. But I like it. I like it just fine. songs here um thank you so much to my oh a world away yes i can okay yes yes um thanks for that and thank you to my friends at pentangle for bringing me back angela thank you craig for running sound thank you alita i know she's not here but love her and um michael the whole gang thanks so much for for making a little home for me here in woods Anytime, anytime. I love this town. I'm excited to be here in the summer. Um, 
yeah, this is a this is a song I was asked to play. I wrote this in high school about a boy who didn't like Bob Dylan. So watch out. It's called Numb and Blue. Apparently that was my uh <laughs> my like requirement of people. Okay. Numb and blue. Here we go. Choose to hold on to and how tight on this sleepless night. It's the way you drive and all the Bob Dylan you pretend to like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. glad you'd be glad to hear I'm out of poetry cause these days words come about as easy as sleep and when I speak I'm saying things I never thought applied to people like me Can you see my fingers, no man blue? If I'm trying to hold on to you. And ooh, can you see my fingers, no man blue? If I'm trying to hold on to you. See, there's too much music There's too much thought inside my head But if you want to be my friend Then why do you lie? I should have known you'd be just as reckless with me And I guess I'm just as naive as they warned me I would be ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, can you see my fingers numb and blue if I'm trying to hold on to you Pretend to like ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay, I will end on a world away. Um, this is a song that I wrote off after my my older sister's twenty sixth birthday party. <laughs> 
um, a friend of hers threw this big dinner party and invited all of her friends and invited me and I just started college and I didn't have any money and I just went along for this party and I learned a very, very important lesson which is that grown-up people split the bill. They don't just pay for what they ate or drank, they pay for a little bit of what everybody did. So the end of the night came and I did not have anywhere near enough to afford my portion of my sister's birthday dinner, so she had to buy my dinner on her birthday. And I felt very badly about it, and um, that was the starting place of this song. So you never know where inspiration is going to strike. Going off set list, confirming what key this is in, but we gotta know. I'm ready. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you being here. This is a world away. My sister bought me dinner on her birthday yesterday. And through the wine, she said, by 26, I thought I'd find my way. I said, I don't know. Gracious, but there's a longing on his face, and I don't know how to make the burden go away. How can I be so close to you and feel the world in a half away? How can I? be so close to you and not know what to say. And a friend of mine is friends with God, or so she says at least. Though it's strange to say I can deny I've tried to find my knees. I've tried to beg my heart to show itself. Everybody, let's give Haley a big round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You were absolutely wonderful, and we look forward to following you on your travels around the world. Keep us posted on social media. Let us know what you're doing, and we'll see you next year, hopefully. Okay.